The question is whether the nitrate ion, this NO3 minus, is polar or nonpolar. And the short answer is that it's nonpolar. Even though it's an ion, the ion itself doesn't really have a positive or negative side to it. So it's a nonpolar ion. If we look at the whole structure here, though, it has a one minus ionic charge. So overall, it has this one minus spread out on it because it has an extra electron. So it will interact with polar solvents like water, even though the structure is nonpolar. It's also helpful to understand that this is a resonance structure. We could move the double bond here, or we could have it on this structure here. What we end up with in reality is an average of those three primary resonance structures where the double bond is in different places. And that would look like this. So we can see here in this averaged form of the resonance structures that the negative charge is distributed around the ion. To understand why the nitrate ion, this NO3 minus, is nonpolar, let's look at this in three dimensions. So here's our nitrate ion, one of the resonance structures. We have our double bond here. If we look at the dipoles, on the bonds. We can see they all point in different directions. They're all in the opposite directions. So even though there's a slight dipole between the nitrogen and oxygen, they cancel out, giving us a net dipole of zero. Because they cancel out, we have a nonpolar ion. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So to recap, because we have resonance and the charge is distributed across the ion, that negative charge, it will interact with polar solvents. But because it's symmetrical and there's not a real big difference in electronegativity between nitrogen and oxygen, this is considered a nonpolar ion. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.